This is a, an aquaponics uh, farm um, which has uh, been built here as a demo uh, for potential uh, clients that uh, may want to see how an aquaponics farm uh, works. It's got quite a number of uh, uh, systems. Um, so what you see there is the NFT, nutrient film technique where the plants are planted in those gutters and the water runs down from the top there all the way to the bottom we haven't done the uh, gutter or the manifold the, as yet but we're gonna do that and here is a wicking bed this wicking bed here you can see the pipe that's got uh, uh, little um, holes that have been drilled in there we're gonna work uh, that out as a wicking bed essentially to include uh, composts and uh, uh, soil that's where we can plant uh, some of our root bulbs i can plant beetroot uh, can plant uh, potatoes can plant carrots and so on um, it's going to be covered here with uh, initially uh, i'll cover it with uh, some loose uh, crushed stones and then i'll put a, a shade a cloth on top of that and then from there we we'll then include uh, you know normal soil or compost to grow the plants and this one here you can see it's got uh, some water in it this is going to be our media bed uh, we haven't put in the stones yet we're going to do that soon but um, it works on the basis of a uh, siphon so this is our siphon that is going to let water in and out um, it, will, it will come in and then siphon through uh, this hole, this hole here that you see there. Um, this siphon we already tested, works well. Essentially this determines the level of the water and the vacuum that's created uh, through this uh, siphon um, belly or whatever you, you, you would like to call it. Uh, it takes water out and this is going to be full of uh, uh, media uh, which we are going to be using uh, crushed stone which are lime free to grow our plants in here and again here you can grow any type of plants um, they could be you know any leafy vegetables that you grow and hopefully um, some worms can also grow in there to give uh, more nutrients and bacteria into the into the plants uh, next year is our uh, raft bed or deep water culture as they call it and that's where we're gonna have uh, this uh, bed and base full of water and the water will circulate we're gonna plant uh, our plants here on uh, uh, rafts uh, of polyesterine foam which we are yet to put in and this bed will just be full of water which will circulate uh, and uh, you can see the exit of the water is going to be that part, part there and all of this is where the water comes in you can see also the uh, water coming from the sump going into these beds all these three beds at the bottom here is our our sump um we've uh, because of the utilization of space um had uh, three sumps one right at the end there second one there and the third one here and they are all balanced by this uh, pipe that you see here so they all have the same level that's a balancer and the main sump which has uh, pumps uh, is, is in here um, those two valves you see uh, connect to two pumps uh, one is going to act as a backup uh, pump which you can see remains closed um, this one here it's, it's closed and this is open and what happens is that if the one pump fails uh, we will just open uh, and run the system on the other pump so they won't run all together at the same time and here we've got our, our fish tank as you can see it's already got some water but no fish yet we're still gonna put some fish and the uh, water comes from the fish tank uh, I'll just show you where it goes to comes from the fish tank this way um, into uh, this here which is a solid uh, separator tank number one here it's a solid separator um, you can see how it is uh, uh, done inside the water from the fish tank comes in here and then it will rise 
and come all the way to the top to these two pipes um, the waste or the uh, fish uh, poo and solids will all settle at the bottom and I don't know if you can see that but at the bottom you've got a hole there that hole uh, will capture all the solids and the solids will exit um, on this side here uh, it will move as you can see right at the bottom here it will move from here uh, to the next tank which is this one here and this tank here is uh, our biodigester um, more digestion of the uh, solids will happen we'll put an air pump in there uh, to invigorate the solids and uh, once they are ready to go to the sump they will then exit the sump and go into into the sump and that's where they are fed from this sump here at the bottom which i've already spoken about they will exit uh, through the pump that i showed earlier um yeah through this uh, this this pump that's going into the fish tank as well as into the media beds there um if we have uh, too much uh, solids that are coming from this uh, solid separator we've also made on the side a tap uh, where we can open and manually drain out some of the solids um, and we can use a lot of those solids into into our garden outside um, you know to fertilize our our plants that are outside in the in the garden so yeah that's uh, pretty much the system you can see that uh, we've included and joined water that's pumped from the sump into uh, this bed here that i spoke about earlier which is the nft system this pump will feed uh, each one of those nft systems uh, to create uh, different environments for growing plants as you can see what we really have here are four systems or four types of uh, plants that are going to be grown here this year through a nutrient film technique uh, number one there it's a raft bed uh, number two is a media bed and the last one is a wicking bed great